Hey everybody, Erica Sterwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs. I'm gonna show you how to make this little fold over treat box. Inside I have one of the little Debbie snickerdoodle cream pies. Um, I thought this would make kind of a fun little back to school snack. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be back to school. It's pretty generic, but this time of the year, I'm always looking for fun little treats to send our wonderful teachers. Um, this week on my blog, I am using the Just My Type stamp set, a super popular stamp set. Um, I have several other examples or samples, if you will, on my blog. So make sure you click the link here on YouTube to go back and check all of them out as well as get the free PDF that has the measurements and supply list for this box. All right, well, let's make the box first. This is a fun little box that kind of has just these fold over sides that make it really, really fun. You're gonna need a full sheet, eight and a half by 11 of Melon Mambo. And I'm gonna start on the long side and I'm gonna score it at two and a half, three and a half, seven and a half, and eight and a half. And then turn it on the short side and we're gonna score it at two, and three, and then five and a half, and six and a half. All right, now there's one thing that you're gonna wanna mark on your um, piece while you still have your simply scored out. We're gonna need to find the middle point right here on these two sections. Um, so that it's the middle sections along the long side. So grab a pencil, let's see, of course my pencil has disappeared. So I'm gonna take my, just my scoring tool. And this little section is one, two, three, four inches wide. So we just need to find the two inch spot and mark a little, just a little score line there. All right, so if it's between the three and a half and the seven and a half, that means five and a half is the middle part. Okay, so this has a lot of score lines. So you wanna grab your bone folder and really run it along all the lines. This is gonna make it nice and crisp and make it look pretty professional. My nail color, I think, looks like maybe it's Melon Mambo. Huh, I like it, my, one of my favorite colors. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is cut out the three pieces on each corner. So I, I always think of Tetris when we do this. Um, you remember Tetris, the, how you had to fit those little L-shaped pieces in? Those were always my favorite pieces. So the, we're kind of cutting out an L-shaped piece, although I am not keeping it intact because that makes it a little more hard to cut. So just cut off two and then the third one like that and we're gonna go all the way around and do all three sides I mean all, all four sides All right, so this is what your piece looks like. Now, the only other thing, well, there's two things I guess we need to do. We need to cut these pieces, these tabs right here. And I'm gonna cut in, and then I'm just gonna cut off that outside corner like that. All right, so cut in, and then cut that corner. Cut in, and outside corner. Cut in and outside corner. All right, now remember those um, half, those two inch marks that we made? What we're gonna do is use those as a guide and we're gonna cut this diagonally from that, that mark to the bottom corner and then do it again to the other corner. Okay, so you're making like a little point. All right, now our piece is complete. This is what it should look like. Okay, you've got your tabs like that. All right, let's see. Um, probably the best adhesive to use would be liquid glue um, or tear and tape, but I've got my seal sitting right here, so I'm just gonna, for the ease of the video, use that. I'm gonna put adhesive on the outside of these four tabs. Whoops, got it in the wrong spot there. 
All right, and then I'm gonna fold over and press them into these sides right here, like that. All right, and then that's your box. See that, pretty cool. Snickerdoodle fits in there pretty good. You fold in those, and then you fold over the little pointed um, sides, and you have kind of like, a, it looks like an envelope box. Now I've got a, a one inch strip of basic black cardstock, and I think it's probably too long. It's 11 inches, so let's see. Yeah, we're gonna need to cut some of this off. I'm just gonna fold it around to make a belly band. Let's see, cut off about an inch and a half, two inches. I'll have the correct measurements there on that free PDF over on my blog. And then you wanna fold it over on and adhere it to itself, okay, not to the box. And then you have this, this thing that will just slide off. Um, I always like a belly band because then it is it means that the recipient doesn't have to tear the box open. I've given treats to people who like to collect them and put them on a shelf. So um, I try my best to make boxes that, that don't require them to be torn open because I know people like to save them or to even reuse them. So when you use a belly band, that means you don't have to put any adhesive there to keep it closed. All right, some of our black and white gingham ribbon. I mean, black and white check with melon mambo pretty much is my favorite combo of anything ever i love it <laughs> all right there's your box now let's do our stamping i have brought in orchid oasis which is one of our end colors really really beautiful and we're going to stamp this on basic white now this is a large photopolymer stamp if i can get my paper picked up with my melon mambo nails um, this is a solid photopolymer, and sometimes these solid photopolymers, depending on your work surface, they don't, you know, there's no foam to push down that middle part, so though it might not um, stamp very well in the middle. So easy solution, put something foam underneath it, like a piercing mat, or even just fun foam from the craft store. You know, the fun foam, it's like 99 cents for a big sheet, and that will give you a good image um, to stamp. Okay, now we're going to do a flower, just one little flower in Melon Mambo. Now there are no dies for this set, but it's relatively easy. I'm just going to use my paper snips and you'll see that the image isn't perfectly drawn. You know, it's kind of got, um, sides that aren't necessarily symmetrical, the lines are a little wonky, that's how the artist has drawn it. Um, so your cutting can, you know, has room to not be perfect too. I like to stay on the outside of the image, leaving just a little bit of a white border going around. That will kind of fool the eye to see just the, the edge of the stamp, the stamped image, rather than your cutting. All right, so now the flower's a little more persnickety. If you want, you could um, use a, a flower punch or a flower die to add a flower here. You could just use Melon Mambo cardstock from your scraps that we cut off and punch or cut out a little flower. It'll work just the same. I get it, sometimes we don't wanna fussy cut these little things. All right, now if I can locate, yes, look at that, pretty fast. My dimensionals, my many dimensionals, we're gonna put that flower right here. These paper snips, I think, are a must have. If you don't have them in your arsenal, you may have other scissors. I cannot express to you how much of a difference good little sharp scissors make. They're only $10, I believe. So add them to your next order. These are our in color pearls. And that is um, our Orchid Oasis. We have perfect color coordination. That's one of Stampin' Up's things that they're known for is perfect color coordination. And so you know if it says Orchid Oasis, it's gonna match. All right, last but not least, I'm just gonna stamp the For You. I like For You, it's pretty generic. 
If you're gonna do this as a back to school treat for a teacher, my favorite stamp to use is Happy New Year. Um, it's a new school year. Teachers measure their years by school years. I know I'm a te I used to be a teacher and I still measure my years by the school year. Um, so Happy New Year is always a fun sentiment to use, I think. All right, let's add this to our belly band. And then we are done. And there you have it. What a fun and really pretty simple treat box. Now, make sure you click the link here on YouTube. Go back to my blog. Grab that free PDF. Um, give my channel a subscribe if you, if you enjoyed today's project. And let me know if you have any questions. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.